what's up YouTube? I'm back again with another video. Guys, you know how I do, man. I bring y'all some of that good old cheap stuff. Oh, this way you say that cash. Alright. So uh this time it's on our uh, Jordak men's our version of Polo Blue for men by Ralph Lauren. And uh I just wanna do a little <laughs> review on it. For you guys who forgot about it or seen it, no chance to pick it up or something like that. Uh, kind of skeptical about it because it only costs a dollar. Man, I'm here to tell you, y'all about to stop sleeping on them cheap colognes. They they good, man. I don't think they ain't good. Now, they, they pretty good. All right, I'm going to let you guys check out the spray on this. That's what the bottle look like right there. Our version of Polo Blue. For men by Ralph Lauren. Jodak number 43. Okay. So you gotta check out the sprayer. Check it out. Pretty decent sprayer, man. Huh? Not bad for a buck. And, um, what this smells like, uh, basically it smells just like the original. Polo Blue, just about, you know, for the dollar, for a dollar, you know, you get the same as moderate projection. You know, starting off, the projection ain't that high, but it's got that, like a dull fruitiness to it. This is not a real high projecting type scent, but it smells pretty good, though. But, you know, in my opinion, it's more of a close encounter type scent. But, um, y'all for a dollar, man, you know. Can't beat what you get, man, for a dollar, you know. But, uh, this is great, man. Uh, start out, like I said, it's more like a moderate type of projection. Uh, the longevity is fair. What I wore the other night, I got anywhere from. Three to five hours. I still can detect it on the skin. But, um, yeah, the Polo Blue, well, this particular version, um, is not the best projection. But, like I said, it's moderate, you know. And I don't think it's a real projecting type smell, even in the real cologne, you know. I don't think it would really be that, um, High projecting. This ain't no real high projecting type scent, you know. But um, it smells good though, guys. I, uh, ladies, I like it. Uh, make a great close encounter um, cologne. So uh, it, it does smells pretty good, man. Uh, this would be one I definitely would pick up. You know, you, you know, for you guys just want to try it out and. You know, just want to throw away a little dollar or something, you know, for the, you know, it don't cost nothing but a dollar. So, if you don't like it, you know, you still can just use it for car freshener or room spray or something like that, uh, whatever, you know. But it smells good. His projection is moderate, you know. It's not the best projection, but it's moderate. And like I'm going to tell you guys, <laughs> Y'all keep sleeping on them dollar colognes, man. I tell you right now, some of them colognes be really good, man, for a dollar. Even two or three dollars. You know, five bucks. I mean, whatever, you know. You know, a lot of people be like, yeah, you know, it's cheap. It can't be that good. <laughs> that ain't the case, boy. I tell you one thing. They put some quality in some of them colognes now. They ain't like to be uh, like they used to be back in the days and stuff like that. You know, like when the colognes and stuff back in the days was more, you know, it was not as good as projecting as there was as there is now back in the days. But now they, they, they make them a little stronger. They put a little bit more perfume oil and stuff like that in them. And um, they, they just do pretty good. That they, uh, you know, the projecting and stuff like that. So, I guess, you know, being the fact that they put more oils and stuff like that in them, you know, 
that makes them uh, that much more better than they normally would do. So, I mean, I say, for example, if you try these colognes, let's say, let's say eight years ago, or five, anywhere from five to eight years back, I don't think they were they was quite as good as they are, you know, today. Even the cheap, the cheapest uh, colognes, they, like I said, they put some more central oils and stuff like that in them. And for a dollar, man, I mean, shucks. And they projects, man. You got some of them project good as a cologne that costs $40 or 50 For example, here's one of the women perfumes right here, a red door. Elizabeth Arden, uh, it's her version, Jordan Women version of Red Door. This perfume projects like a beast. You know, I just sampled it out. I done a review for you guys, and um, uh, it it can't get much better than that right there. It's got a hell of five projections. I don't know the longevity of it, you know, because for women, so you know, I ain't about rocking it too long, you know. So I'll spray it on, do a review for you guys, and i try to take it off my skin because, you know, basically it's for women. All right? But what I really know for a fact that this stuff projects like a, a raging bull, you know. And like I said, this one is more of a subtle, like a moderate projection. It's not that strong. So uh, that tells me some sense ain't as strong as the others, you know. But don't sleep on these dollar colognes, though. They, 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 a lot of them really good. No, even some of the, um, the designer, uh, American designers, ones like these right here, projects really good and stuff. And, um, they on a dollar to it, you dollar tree. So, uh, be amazed about how some of the good, the, uh, dollar colognes are perform, guys. So don't sleep on them. No, you got people talk crap about them because I guess cause they don't cost $30, 40 $50 on, on up, you know. So I guess they cutting their pride a little bit. Ain't cutting my pride. I don't care, you know. It only costs a dollar or whatever. I don't care, man. If it smells good, I'm going to wear it. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what it costs. And when you kind of sense it ain't about what it costs. Smells a smell. If it smells good to you, <laughs> you pay a dollar. You know, if it smells if you, if you pay, if it smell good to you, you pay $50 for it. It's up to you. But just because you pay your $50 for it don't mean it's no better than the one that costs $5, you know. Uh, it turns out that way sometimes when it comes to cologne and perfumes and stuff, you know. So, uh, yeah, this is a pretty good one, though. Uh, it's their version of Polo Blue by Joe Dat Men. And, uh, yeah, guys, uh, it's moderate projection, longevity anywhere from 3 to 5. And um, it's... Can't expect too much more, you know, for a dollar. So, you know, if you, it do good enough. It does good enough. In my opinion. Alright. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I want to thank all my viewers and my subscribers for watching my videos. Any negative comments. Man, you know what we do. We had to kick you out. Kick you aside and block you out. <laughs> All right, so uh, guys, get up on the cheap dollar cologne, man. Don't sleep on them now. Remember who told you? Don't sleep on them dollar cologne, because some of them ain't no joke, man. They good. All right, so guys, take care, and uh, I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace out, YouTube.